All right, I'll take it. All right. Oh, Peepa needs Ron May HMC. Who's HMC again? Harmony main character. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, HMC. What the what the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's speak of main character. Let's change our lineup. <clears throat> Still have not built Harmony MC. Whoops. Claim your mail. Maybe I've already claimed it. Yeah, I've already claimed everything. I'll do all this stuff later. <sighs> After all this craziness, Still preservation? Yes, I know. I just, I just, reality. I just finished. I just finished the 2.2 uh, update like two days ago, man. All right, let's go yeah, meet the others. Preservation MC is so ass, man. Man, I remember when Preservation MC came out. She was actually pretty good. Is she ass now? <laughs> the power creep, man. Ooh, there we are. How extravagant. Just like Epsilon. How was it? Did it live up to your dreamscape <coughs> expectations? You already asked that when we first got here. Yeah, and you said no back then. Man, haven't but seen you in a while, Silver Wolf. I'd say you've grown fond of it. But just a heads up, you're still on the Bloodhound family's wanted list, so keep a low profile. And this time, it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. That's got to be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life still it'd be quite inconvenient if i can't move freely could you help me out silver wolf i knew you'd say that don't worry i've hacked all the systems and hacking complete no trace. don't do anything that may draw attention and don't talk with guards they might recognize you Keep these two points in mind, and you can go wherever you want. Silver Wolf is so short. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. We don't we don't judge here. We don't we don't judge our short queens here, man. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe no Five problem. Flies too tall. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I love this fake name. How about both? How about both? Now that we're done here in Panacone, <laughs> what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. How about we go stir up some excitement? Well, you know my script isn't over yet. I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Okay. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths, but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. Ooh, what is this reward? How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens. That's you right, Firefly. You write your own script. You have a bad habit. Whenever you seem to be asking a question, you've already made up your mind. And free no pools? Free Stella Jade? Speech. Free pools? Anyway, Kafka asked me to pass on this message. If you see anything fabulous in Pentacony, get one for me too. Just swipe my card. You know the pin. <laughs> hey, gotcha, players. Peak gameplay right there. She didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else. You know better about fashion than I do. Sure. I'll keep an eye out. 
There's tons of options at OT Mall. <gasps> Do you think she'll like trinkets? Like, uh, hair accessories or brooches? Those sound more like something for young girls. Maybe you young should keep them girls. for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, how oh, old is everyone Blade. else? Blade didn't explicitly say it, but I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. <laughs> He's always so subtle. Milf Kafka words. confirmed. I mean, we knew that already. Got it. He was just worried about me. Relax, Silver Wolf. You know me. I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penicone, from the first day to the last. But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. Or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. Blade definitely won't appreciate it. That's not written in the script, right? But as you see... Blade's, Blade's gonna be like, is this cake poisoned? No, I'm uninterested. I have added new footnotes to my destiny. Meanwhile, on Radiant Feldspear. Welcome. To Yo, she's actually the back. She's back. Making preparations, but <coughs> the big boss hasn't arrived yet. It'll be a while before the conference starts, I'm afraid. The only, the only, the only thing I look forward to about the IRS guys. Huh, quite a spectacle. <laughs> the family really knows how to make things look impressive. If she was actually running the IRS, we'd we'd be like, "Yo, we get to pay our taxes." <laughs> My favorite time of the year, baby. My favorite time of the year. I thought they would choose a more formal and low-key location for the conference. I didn't expect them to go with a luxury airship. About this, Director. I've asked around. This airship, named uh, the Radiant Feldspar, belongs to the Alfalfa family. <clears throat> this conference between the IPC and the family will have a direct impact on Penacone's future. Such an important event should have been held at it. Well, somewhere secretive in the moment of morning dew. The atmosphere here... It doesn't feel serious enough. Hmm. If I'm right, this conference is probably just a prelude. Whoever organized it wants to assess the IPC stance beforehand. This influential figure either has their own ambitions and wants to reach a preliminary agreement, or they plan to put pressure on us to make us back off. <laughs> the hero Himmel would play would pay taxes. <laughs> oh. Eventually there's gonna be like an ad so where it's like the hero the Himmel would do this. But when the big boss arrives, please remember. The hero to Himmel. Be cautious and Donated to charity, guys. Traps. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, but I don't think that will be necessary. When she's at the table, it's the others who need to be cautious. Just tell everyone on our team to stay focused on their tasks and not worry about the negotiations. Oh, got it. I'll do it right away. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Don't call Miss Jade Big Boss in front of her. Or there will be serious consequences. I mean, really serious. Uh, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Director. Jade? I tripped and fell right here. Ooh, okay, where are we going? Oh, Oh, you chilling in there? Are you chilling? Oh. Oh, look at them. Oh, okay. I don't know how it's breathing. Uh, maybe it can breathe underwater. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going? All right. Thank you very much. None of the important figures have arrived yet. Huh. Looks like the conference Ooh, won't be starting tea for party? a while. Oh, bro, I'm getting hungry now, actually. Oh, are you hungry, Numby? 
That's not for you, Numbi. Food in the dream. Uh, shouldn't taste bad, right? Zero calories, baby. <laughs> Numbi, catch! Zero calories. <laughs> Aww. Oh, looks delicious, huh? <sighs> oh, I should have taken a bite first. Let's make bacon. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My favorite pet. Crispy bacon. So many buttons. How many centuries would it take to press them all? Huh. Didn't expect those pooches to actually recycle them all. <laughs> huh? What are these? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I recognize that for your voice. Safety, please stay away from those objects. I recognize that voice. For my safety? Are these buttons something dangerous? Sparkle still being a little mischievous Not little girl? Exactly. Lately there's been a prankster in the sweet dream who's been handing out strange button devices to anyone he meets. According to those involved, he said something like, just press this button and all of Panacone will explode. Luckily, no one believed him. Still. The Bloodhound family collected these buttons just to be on the <clears> safe side. Haven't the hounds caught the culprit yet? Haven't the hounds caught him yet? <laughs> yeah, that guy has some skills. I have to admit that. <laughs> However, you know, <laughs> wait the Bloodhound a family minute. Won't give up. Whoever disrupts order in the dreamscape will Yeah, that guy sounds sounds like a pretty cool sounds like a pretty cool person, anyway, eh? Family will really skilled. Please kindly keep I would like to hang out with him. Oh, get out of the way. Where's the treasure? Where's... What you got, boy? What you got? What you got? What do you smell? What do you... What do you smell, boy? What do you smell? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Can I give him a treat? Oh, more? More? You, you got more, boy? You got more? Wait. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, free stuff. Oh damn! He's just—he's—he's he's just going ham today. He's going ham. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, over there. Okay, good boy, good boy. All right. Sorry, my gadget is really taking over. All right, let's uh. Greetings, madam. Number is a girl. Oh, okay, okay. Hello. Could you tell me more about the Radiant Feldspar? I assume you are the ambassador of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. It's my honor to assist you. The Radiant Felspar is owned by Mr. Odie Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family. Alfalfa. Mr. Alfalfa invested a significant amount in building this luxurious airship an Ember era ago, and it has been sailing across the 12 hours of the dreamscape ever since. Oh, so it's owned by old Odie himself. No wonder the ship is so lavishly decorated. Ooh. Indeed, Mr. Alfalfa has impeccable taste. Only the most prestigious guests are invited by the Alfalfa family to board this airship. Please allow me to continue my introduction. The Radiant Felspar had been cruising over the Sea of Dreams in Penacone for an entire Ember era. But its voyage was temporarily halted due to the recent reverberation. Reverberation? <laughs> Such a formal way of putting it. You're really downplaying the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I apologize. Please continue. <laughs> Following the previous reverberation in the sweet dream, the Radiant Felspar had to suspend its voyage temporarily. Great. Thankfully, the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved. However, due to, well, certain special reasons, the Charmony Festival, originally scheduled at the Panacone Grand Theater, I wonder had to be why. Who postponed. did that? Who so, could have done that? Mr. Alfalfa suggested relocating the Charmony Festival to the Radiant Felspar. Take ah, well, that would meet the family's needs and also create momentum for Mr. Alfalfa himself. Quite fitting for a legendary tycoon like him. Thank you for explaining it's that. It's Sampo. Goodbye. I wish. Oh, what what you got now? What you got now? Hello? Oh. 
Who's that? Talent motivation department? Again? Internal review? Will it ever end? Uh, I'm working on a major project. I don't have time to squabble with you guys. I... The way I handled the Urillo case was approved by senior management, and all of the project logs and calls are complete. Can't you check on them yourselves? I just don't understand. Why are you so fixated on this minor case and constantly escalating it? This is just working in any Seriously, corporate company, what's guys. What's your purpose? Sounds exhausting. Why not just hang up? In my oh. opinion, oh. you handled that project quite well. Oh, who? In exchange for the astral expenses, good who? Who? A new mom? Another one? While, Another girl. one? I've been looking forward to working with you. Never imagined this day would come so soon. <laughs> Is there trouble? You can tell me anything. Oh no. Oh Just no, like another mom does. has entered the building. No. <laughs> it's been a while, Matt and Jade. I'm honored to have the opportunity to work with you. <laughs> You're still so formal, aren't you? Forget about the hierarchy and treat me as your equal. She's a five star, right? No she's she's, she's going to be a five star, right? Like Next banner as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, of course she is. Take some time to get used to that. After all, well, now that we're both members of the Ten Stone Hearts, I need you to be at Look at that best. hat, man. Especially Look at that since hat. The upcoming negotiations leave no room for error. As sharp as you are, I'm sure you've figured out the true purpose of this conference. Right. Whale Wars, here we go. Old Odie has taken it upon himself to test our limits before the official negotiations between the IPC and Pentagon. That, that is such a majestic hat. That's true, and it works in our favor. Do you know if we can reach some sort of agreement with Old Odie beforehand and gauge our opponent's boundaries, our future negotiations will go much more smoothly. That's the obvious benefit. Exactly. And the hidden benefit. Her ult is step on me, baby. As the head of the Alfalfa family. <laughs> his actions suggest that the five lineages might not. Yeah, should have should have waited for uh, her banner before doing a werewolf with Connor again. As long as the influence of harmony hasn't completely permeated their core, personal desires will always have their way. Is it actually unironically? Thankfully. Oh my god. Influential figures in Penaconi haven't entirely suppressed their own desires. It's similar to the power struggles within the IPC. The supposed all-for-one philosophy shared by the five lineages. It's just a slogan now that the Dream Master has gone. After the downfall of the Yoke family, Old Oti's faction became the dominant force in Panacone. Even if we consider only the succession order, he's the longest serving and most senior among all the family heads. Yes. That's exactly why we need to handle the conference following an agreed-upon strategy. It's like playing a game of chess, where every move needs to be carefully thought out. Absolutely. The three steps of negotiation. Listen, test, and strike. That's what you taught me. Pretty clear. Although, you seem to have changed the order in the Yarilo case. <laughs> that was based on my personal experience. I apologize for interrupting your conversation. You should the be family sorry. Family head is ready to meet the ambassadors from the strategic investment department. All right, let's Time go. To get to work. Let's Are you pulling? Are you pulling for milf? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll dust. Maybe I'll Remember, dust out the old credit card. Maybe I'll dust out the old the credit card. I don't think I have a uh, well was for Jade, but maybe I'll make an exception. And you and I. We are going to tear it wide open. The company card. <laughs> it's a, it's an investment, guys. It's an investment. Redemption arc next banner, bro. Don't, don't remind me. Five flies, five flies cursed my account. Right, I'm gonna get some more water quickly. Uh, be right back. Be right back, guys.
Actually, you know what? Fuck water. It's the weekend. I'll start things off with a nice non-alcoholic beer. Hi, this is Chopa speaking. You have soil? <sighs> Hi. Weak? How? <laughs> Jadala. I'm I'm going out later tonight, so uh alcohol? Now nah, this is this is this is fake alcohol. <sighs> but I feel like go with the real deal. Got a pre-drink? Yes. <laughs> Maybe in a few hours, guys. Welcome Maybe in a few hours. This is my pre-pre-drink. Radiant Feldspar. Smart and charming ladies. Please have a seat. Let's have a pleasant conversation. This would be a good wine vibe. You're actually you're right. I feel like I feel like these two are wine drinkers. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jade definitely, Jade definitely elegantly Forgive drinks the wine, man. Lack of attentiveness that might have led to a lengthy wait outside. No problem at all, Mr. Alfalfa. It's my honor to meet you in person. You may not be aware, but the book Odi Alfalfa, the biography, is a must-read for all strategic investment department employees. After all. To many, you are the legendary figure who single-handedly built the Penacony economy. <laughs> Yo, economy arc? Let's go! No Spice and wolf arc! Stonehearts from the strategic investment department. You're definitely skilled in the art of conversation. I always enjoy talking to smart people because... Finance bros rise up! Bush. We can just <clears throat> get straight to the point instead. Since I invited you IPC ambassadors on board, I'm sure you've figured out the topic I'd like to discuss, yes? The remake or the original? I'll be honest, it's been so long since I watched the original, I can't remember it. I only remember the legendary opening. The future of Penacony, if I'm not mistaken. Harry Kane is best waifu. Uh, <laughs> Precisely. Uh, those maybe maybe if he uh, gets more goals and doesn't miss a penalty against France, then he'll be best waifu. Let's take that golden-haired guy who's not showing up, for example. He put in great effort and almost got himself killed. But what was it all for? Wasn't it eventually to create an opportunity for you IPC to regain control of the precious Astana? <laughs> England only getting carried by Bellingham, to be honest. England, England ain't getting carried by nobody, man. It England is getting carried by the fucking plane on the journey home, man. The wisdom and experience. If we continue, if we continue performing the way we have in the previous impressive. two games. Let's assume your assumptions are correct, Mr. Alfalfa. How would you respond to the IPC's actions? I appreciate your composure, Miss <laughs> Jade. You must have witnessed. See, I knew much it was. I knew it was over. I knew it was over this round in the Euros for England when we start, when uh, the players started getting hyped up. As soon as England started getting hyped up and we were like one of the tournament favorites, I was like, oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's fucking over. Uh, that's, that's when I knew we were going to do shit. When we were tournament favorites, I was like, ah, uh, rip. All right, go next. <laughs> However, perhaps you don't know much about Penacony. <laughs> Old Oti won't sit idly by when faced with a greedy wolf. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. Ooh. <laughs> then I'll be straightforward. I requested this meeting before the official conference to dissuade the Strategic Investment Department from trying to lay a finger on Penacony. If you back off now, you can make a smooth exit. 
and prevent the IPC from losing face during more important negotiations. Oh, intense meeting, guys. Intense meeting. Are we in slime now? One of our P-45 executives was attacked and nearly killed in the dreamscape. The IPC can't simply ignore this incident. Moreover, considering the turbulence during the Charmony Festival, Panacone's credibility has taken a hit in the public's eyes. Despite your determined attitude, yeah, yeah, the you... issues plaguing Panacone are real, are they not? Oh, you pop off, Queen. You use the term real, Miss Topaz, but let's not forget that this is the realm of dreams. If you want to succeed here, you need ambition and unconventional thinking. Bro, this, this dialogue scene needs like the Death Note music right now, man. Curious about how I plan to respond to the <laughs> IPC? Well, I don't mind sharing. My actions will help Panacone take a significant step forward by self-listing and going public. Ooh. Going public? If I'm not mistaken, you want to bypass the IPC and go public on a universal scale. Yeah, are we, are we actually going through the economy arc right now? Precisely. Instead of watching the IPC gnaw away at Penaconi, I'd prefer to open the doors of the sweet dream to the entire universe. Starting today, anyone in the cosmos can become a shareholder of the land of Yo, the let's go, finance bros. This is the path of harmony I'll choose. <laughs> this is the path of harmony I choose. <laughs> More money. <laughs> this reform should have been implemented earlier, but unfortunately, <laughs> The Oak family what could be more harmonious than getting rich? By order. <laughs> Their level of intellectual flexibility doesn't even come close to an old fellow like me. Thanks to the little um, reverberation earlier, the biggest obstacle between me and my reforms has been eliminated. <laughs> the Alfalfa family will publicize the financial results of Sweet Dream Paradise. So that the entire universe can see that, despite the catastrophe, Panacone still holds immense potential and opportunities, and that the family remains confident in its future. Yo! Hmm. Crisis and it's actually interesting. <laughs> Shit, I'm like, I'm like, this is an intense You've discussion right now. Right Shit, I'm getting invested in this. This is this is me during like any any meeting scene in uh in any any meeting scene in fucking slime or any other meeting scene, man. I'm like, oh okay, okay. We and fine with words Pentacone now. Should seize this opportunity to overcome adversity, even if the IPC tries to intervene. Every move we make will be scrutinized by trillions of people. <laughs> Now I'm convinced that you've indeed familiarized yourself with my biography, Miss Jade. So, about your next move. Ooh. Please, consider it carefully. What are you going to do? Indeed. We need some time to digest such a wealth of information. I suggest we conclude the first half of our conference, Mr. Alfalfa. Please allow Topaz and me to confer privately for a few moments and to respond on behalf of the IPC later. <laughs> of course. Take your time, dear ladies. God, I, I, I always the love a well-written dialogue scene. With the IPC? I got <clears throat> this information from a message sent by that IPC ambassador. He said it was to return the favor. It's not hard to imagine. Panacone today is pretty much like the frontier prison it once was, with external forces casting greedy eyes and the undercurrent of order lurking within. Instead of falling into a situation where they are plagued by both external and internal threats, Panacone would rather take a step back and invite the IPC to negotiate at the table, ostensibly to cooperate, but in reality, to secure more opportunities for their own survival. Well, no wonder they sought the mediation from the Astral Express. 
In your opinion, who should we stand behind? I don't think the followers of the Harmony are completely innocent victims. Who would we choose? <laughs> For reasons unknown, they have a strong desire. <laughs> who do we? Who do we back? Who do we back, guys? Leads to speculation about their motives. If either the family or IPC were to assume full control, well, clearly control, it's the side it with to Topaz and Hot Mummy, right? Hedonism, and the efforts of those previous nameless would once again go to waste. <laughs> there you are. Did you rest well? I also lost to Welt, so watching Whale Wars was cinema, bro. How did we get like, how did all three of us get Welt? I didn't disturb you since you were in a deep sleep. Please continue. After Anna's dream was shattered, the family branch from the Montour system soon arrived and swiftly took control of the situation. Most members of the Oak family fell unconscious, but fortunately, their lives were not in danger. <sighs> the mastermind behind the plans was confirmed to be Gopher Wood, the previous Dream Master. But by the time we arrived, he was dead already. And what about Sunday? Yeah, what about Sunday? He'll uh, face a <clears throat> trial. As for further details... Uh, the family would rather not disclose I wonder them. if that's the last we've Ultimately, seen of him. Ultimately, the public perceived the incident as an attack by evil forces targeting the Charmony Festival. They believe the family failed to safeguard the sweet dream, significantly eroding their credibility in the process. While quite different from the truth, this appears to be the outcome with the least impact. Genshin. After all... You don't know who's awake and who's pretending to be asleep. Well, they'll open their eyes in the face of danger. Once the danger subsides, Wait, is, is a this toast. best? Yes. With three glasses of glory yes. trailblaze to all of you. Best bartender, let's go. You're back. Yo, when we chilling again, man? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is my lounge. It's good to see you all again. Although we might be saying goodbye again after this reunion. No, no, give me another, give me another side quest with her, man. We'll stay a bit longer, but not too long. So this is our final meeting, then. No. This is a farewell. No. Seems to be missing something. Music, atmosphere. Well, this is. She's too powerful ah, to be an NPC, man. To honor those who are not here. Let's see. The mixed drink should be solemn, dignified, and unique. As we'll use it to pay respect to those fallen heroes. To the nameless resting in peace. And to Gallagher. Oh. oh. Alright. Alright. Time for my drink. Time for my Ready drink. Her uh, vent quest was so good, I know. It's. <laughs> I don't know why it was so fun just mixing drinks, but uh, have you have you done the bartending event? Yeah, I did do that event. What happened to Gallagher? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since our last meeting at the lounge. Come to think of it, he always did come and go quietly. We used to discuss everything here, but every time he'd leave, I'd realize that I didn't know him at all. That that event was basically just Such bartender the, the anime. You know, if anyone's if anyone. I seen bartender. That was it. That was the event. It was I have a hunch. Perhaps he's already fulfilled his wishes and won't be coming back. Let's mix some Before drinks. We start. Uh, would you like to talk to your friends? Oh, we can. All right, I'll go talk to my friends. My friends. How you doing, Dad? This trailblazing expedition has been thrilling and memorable. <laughs> Hopefully, we've all gained insights about ideals, paranoia, clarity, and dreams from the experiences we've had. What will One happen bird to Robin? longs for the earth, and the other longs for the sky. Even if Robin had to stop her brother with her own hands, she won't give up on him. Of course. However, facing punishment from the harmony Blood is mentioned. inevitable. He will face a trial. As for further details, the family would rather not disclose them. Oh. Uh, Venturine's efforts finally earned the IPC a seat at the table, 
As a result, a more senior representative arrived in Penacone and initiated oh, yeah, as I far am. as the astral. I am well aware of that. The IPC will make for an invaluable ally during the negotiations to prevent Penacone returning to its former ways. All right. When did the order infiltrate Penacone? Since the Penacone? family took up residence in Penacone, the order has been hiding in plain sight under the guise of the Oak family, using the Stellaron's power to strengthen their hold on the Sweet Dream, which eventually resulted in disaster. That's the claim the family makes. Whether they were truly unaware of all this is a delicate. Right. Well, it was somewhat surprising. In that dream, I returned to my home world and reunited with my long lost friends. And for some reason, Acheron resurfaced in my mind. Did Welt know? Welt was in Honkai Impact 3rd, right? <laughs> Another Honkai Impact reference I, I don't get that her conclusion was not preserved in memories I became aware it's of earth okay truth. all right the conclusion of a journey can often be sorrowful all we can do is to try to make sure it ends on a happy note how did March go oh it's March March went home. Ready to mix your drink? All right, let's do it. Before we start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it. All right, as you wish. Huh. I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Would you like it bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. Uh, I'm a... Guys, guys, I like a... I like my... You know, I used to like my... Drink sweet, but now it's got to be a little bit bitter, man. Here's bitter dreams. The least popular Too drink sweet. in this bar. Wow. It's bitter and sour. Wow, that sounds Just amazing. Like the harsh realities of life. Not a bad choice. <laughs> the least Let's popular drink? Mixing. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Peak gameplay has returned. Select a vintage glass. All right. Well, I want. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a small glass. I'm feeling. I'm feeling classy today. Got to go for a small glass. Uh, more ice. No ice. Less ice. This is uh, a little bit on the rocks. A little bit on the rocks. We'll, we'll go with one. That's that's it. Oh, so you have to select more ice. Fuck. I thought we were get. I thought we were gonna get make our own drink. Um, liquid dust times two, and rejuvenating soda water. Woo, woo, and then stir. Now that's a drink for queens. Sliced lemon. Woo. Oolong cha. <laughs> Guys, it's uh, it's it's oolong cha. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Blend all your memories and emotions together and stir them well. Through the filter of time, what remains in the glass is something to savor. Well. It's done. Here's to the nameless resting in peace. And to my friend, Gallagher. Here's to the best NPC in the game. Death is a bitter truth, but what you did will be remembered by history. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. And one day, our souls will return to the same place. Cheers. All right, who's that? Himeko. All right, I'm on my way. Ooh. Okay. Damn, okay. Let's... Oh no, say goodbye. 
Say goodbye. No. Oh, no. Leaving? Well, then take this with you. <laughs> Wait, we're allowed to take drinks with us? this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. No. So I hope it back the flavors of penny. No. Thank you. I uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. It's over. <laughs> it's so if you over. If you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. Oh, we will. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of, whether it's the Astral Express or Panacone. There's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys. We'll be back. And embark towards our tomorrow. We'll be back. Surely. Surely we'll be back. Surely we'll have, we'll have more Panacone arcs. Old Odie is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odie Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. Ooh, what are we planning? What about the phone call? Mom, what are we planning? Make topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Oh. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. Yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm. Yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset with Invest, the invest, buy, with buy, buy. Good credit, lucrative potential, and uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is, this project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? What? <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Aventurine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself. To uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your jade stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily, allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. <laughs> That's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. <laughs> Well, at least he's still alive, and that's the best outcome. Oh, is our boy coming <laughs> back? Looks like uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Oh, wait. JPOV? JPOV? <laughs> Okay. Sure. There's a good chart. Do as you're Oh doing. my god! Her <laughs> Wait! Her skill is step on me! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Yo, this is the wrong game! This is the wrong game! <laughs> All right. Well, I I, I think we got <laughs> I think we got a pull. <laughs> yes, you will swipe the credit cards. You will. All right. Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jade. Greetings. The opening ceremony. Oh, we're gonna have a self-funded well wars next time. So I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business. 
But in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe the sweet dream will see its rebirth. Just like the radiant feldspar resumed its voyage. The birds will the fly again. The needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past can we actually sail into the future. There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. So let's both take what she we has no enemies. Steal. Naturally. I'm looking forward to your performance. See you at the festival. See you later, Miss Jade. Alright, sorry, I got I gotta stop doing that. I got I gotta stop doing that. All right, There's a good child. Do as you're told. Is that her line every time? There's a good child. Do as you're told. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. I just listened to what she said. <laughs> there's a good child. No, she said there's a good child. Looks Dude. like this collateral won't be returned. <laughs> even the voice line, man. Have we had a character that is even more step on me energy than her? Not exactly Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, do Thank we get to play as a... Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Yo, Topaz Kafka got power crept, man. <laughs> Did Kafka get power crept? <laughs> Is it just me, Miss? It's the dummy mommy Your power creep. Sounds very different now. I need to set a good example for my junior. It's not a good habit to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly and openly. Do you believe what I said, Odie? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten amber eras. Interesting. <laughs> now, that's interesting. Good. <clears throat> it's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So. Tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Penacony has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Penacony. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. We'll keep tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Girl boss moment, girl boss moment. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. If you don't want to be a laughing stock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie in the sky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Terrific>. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you surely have a way with words. <laughs> now, I'm curious to know what you Bro, I've watched too much One Piece to know that every every big line is is uh followed up by a by a One Piece character laughing. <laughs> Mr. Alfalfa, let's not forget that old the people think alike. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. The moment news spreads about Penacony going public, trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Any mishaps in the dreamscape could result in permanent brain death. Wow. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? Damn, you're going for the throat. With the entire You're going for the throat, girl. Penacony. I assure you, it won't be too hard. You really think you can pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. Oh, oh we know, Jade. We know. However, <laughs> Jade, we, we know, we know that. that half-baked plan to go public. <clears throat> The IPC will assure you 
that will never jeopardize the interests of the family heads under your leadership. After all, we also need allies here in Astana. The IPC can assist Penacony with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, uh, yes, support, the best negotiation. Stabilizing and Blackmail. Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more in the future? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. The answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual Damn, she's taking a bit too much now, However, man. The board of directors will consider the interests of the family. Damn, she's taking everything, man. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? <laughs> no guarantee, not even hard pity. <laughs> it benefits us if we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the planet of Festival. And for that reason, I'm customers. out. I understand your concern. And I have a solution for that, too. Fine. Now I see your sincerity. As the head of the Alfalfa family, I don't think I have any reason to refuse your offer. However... As their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amber Era. About the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? The answer is simpler than you think. It's all about credits. Everyone's favorite. Money talks, baby. Money talks. Capitalism? The IPC Hell has yeah. The power to perpetually ensure their value. With each new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be... Ah... <sighs> And then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Our intention is to establish enduring preservation. So I'm sure you can understand. This universe doesn't need two types of order. Hmm. <laughs> well said. Well, now I think I'm a follower me. of preservation, guys. Because we are preserving money, it All seems right. like. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz, invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for your presence, Miss Himeko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himeko from the Astral Express, one of the future shareholders of Penacony. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an Wait, are we getting to shares too? As representative of the Astral Yo, Express. Yo, the Astral Express about to get rich. Oh, this stunning lady is the navigator of the Astral Express. It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacony's shares. Then, the IPC will transfer 5% of that stake to the Astral Express. 5% of a fucking planet, guys. 5% of a goddamn planet. Yo, we've made it. We've made it. 
<laughs> to the moon, baby! To the moon! While this decision isn't finalized, we ain't broke anymore. We are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the board of directors. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the Yo, how many pulls is that, man? How, how, how many pulls do we get? In our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the planet of festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Peniconi must not be distorted again. And such a tragedy must never recur. Well, I'd say that was negotiation success. We took everything, and we didn't need to sacrifice anything at all. Capitalism wins. Watch <clears throat> Old OT is in agreement. So the issue is settled, I presume. What about the remaining family heads? They will soon realize the situation. When old Odie answered the last question, he represented more than just the Alfalfa family. When should we schedule the formal negotiations? I'll handle the arrangements. It's all up to you. I'll step back and let you handle the negotiations and take over. I won't be involved. Uh, but Miss Jade, this is... Aventurine initiated this case, and you were his project partner. If that kid hadn't overplayed his hand, I wouldn't have been pushed to the forefront. I came here today to help you sort out the toughest issue. I trust you'll be able to wrap things up quite nicely. Of course, there won't be any problems. And please, give Diamond my assurance. Diamond hands. Don't worry. Diamond has always trusted us. I'll put in a good word for you, and you'll have your P-45 position back in no time. Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> what a fantastic ship. Now that my business is done, it's time for me to indulge in my own little hobby. Ah, you want to open a Bon and Jade Exchange branch on this ship too? Opportunities like this don't come around often. Just look at the guests on this ship. They're surely holding a wealth of valuable treasures. Well, <laughs> I'll take my leave. A pawn shop can't Damn, run. She's not rich a enough already. She's not rich See enough you already. <laughs> we need more. I have one more money for you, miss jade hmm? go ahead that dose of bitter poison i'm curious as to how you found this information i didn't find the information it came to me it was from a lady concerned with the future of the harmony in return oh. i've agreed to help her with something but that's for later we can deal with Oomst. it after we leave Peniconi. Oomst. You see, that's what investment is all about. The seeds of opportunity are already sown. They only need a little bit of nourishment to take root. And then after, Bird, bub. all we need to do is wait patiently. <laughs> okay. Like right now, for example. <clears throat> it's just about time my final guest boarded the ship. Oh, who's, who's coming back? Who's coming back? Who's missing? Is it bro or is it bay? Sneaking in was way easier than I thought. The family security is as lax as ever. So, this is the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> So luxurious. A pawn shop that grants wishes. Is there really a place like that on the ship? I'll find out for myself if the rumors are true or not. No, don't do it. Don't give her hope. Don't give her hope. Alright. Okay, now maybe we just go down. Uh, go in... Go in. Is that her? Huh. 
vanished in the blink of an eye. Huh. So the Astral Express is huh. here too. Was that really her? Was that really her? What happened to Panacoli? By the way, there's one more thing. Mr. Alfalfa and I discussed it. I'll present a gift to the Astral Express. Is that Giga? Yo, I love his stuff, man. I love his stuff. Contributions to Panacone. Please help me with the necessary arrangements. Right away, Miss Robin. Can I ask you something? Oh, greetings, Miss. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you know how to get to the pawn shop? Pawn shop? Ah, you must be talking about Lady Bonajay's place, right? I've marked the pawn shop's location on your device. All Please, right. let's check it Lady out. Lady Bonajay. <clears throat> I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Where did I go? Was it from Silverwolf? Oh, what am I doing? I think of it. What, what she am disappeared I? after mentioning that she was going to meet with the Genius Society. Ooh. Oh, it's my. It's if me. I win, your chest is mine. That doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound like me. I did. <laughs> they are Actually, still they're gambler. <laughs> gambler. That does. I would never do that, guys. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got to find Lady Bonajade first. Oh come on, come on, we, come on, we can't banter. Hey, excuse me. I was here. For no, it's not the best time. Sorry. I just. I want the chest. Firefly, do you not want the chest? You got time? I got time. I got time. But never let your guard down. I got I got time. Alright. Okay, more ch Damn, so many chests. Inspection complete. Nothing suspicious. That's the wrong way. Okay, where are we dropping? Over there? Alright. And we go down. Oh, oh, oh she's here. I just went in the circle. Yeah, I know. Right, all right. No, not... Let me get the chest first. Let me get the chest. How should I address you, dear lady? Just call me Samuel. Samuel. Huh. Nice name. Yes. So what do you need, Miss Samuel? I want to keep on living. Wow. And for that, I'm willing to give up everything I have. Everything you have. Fucking Robin moment right there. That's right. Everything. Miss Samuel, I think you'd best turn around. It seems you're not quite familiar with the term pawn. What do you mean? I mean it literally. I sense your burning desire to live, but unfortunately, you don't have anything of equal value to offer. <laughs> okay. A pawn shop that grants wishes. <laughs> I mean, she kind of got start. you there, Firefly. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, she called you broke, man. She called you broke. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't, we don't, we don't grant wishes for free, man. We don't grant wishes for free. That's not how capitalism works. Well, that's quite a harsh accusation. I understand you may not fully comprehend what I mean, but don't worry. I'll help you understand. Go and talk to these people. They're all customers of my pawn shop. See, once you've done that, come back to me. I'll help you understand the true meaning of pawn and make you realize what you're missing. All right, guys, that we gotta gamble our feels funds. feels more like a money lender rather than the owner of a pawn shop. Well, I've got nothing better to do anyway. I'll do as she says and see what happens. Fuck around and find out. Oh no, I've gone. Wait, so is the chest. What? Unless this is somewhere different. Oh, what? Where did the chest go? What? Hey, excuse me. I was here first. 
Go back? <laughs> you stupid little I girl. I took it? Okay. You're coming back to lose more money, huh? Ugh, enough talk. Let's get started. You already took it? All right. This will be our final game. I'm betting my entire fortune. Oh, a big talker, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see what you've got. Yo! Stacy versus Arrogance Gambler. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Uh, Origami Bird Clash is a match three battling game. We have to match and clear fruits within a certain number of moves. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, I get it. I get it. Oh, easy. Candy Crush? Bro, I've got this. Candy Crush Pro. Easy. Easy. Turn ends. Oh, it's specific turns. Okay. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Bro, one shot? <laughs> I won? <laughs> one I shot, baby. <laughs> this, this can't be. You lost to me ten times in a row. How could I possibly lose to you at such a crucial moment? It's true. Lady Bonna Jade has truly blessed me. <laughs> Finally, my luck right, has down, turned Stacey. for the better. Great new era for Stacy, the master gambler, has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking kaiji? <laughs> Kids, you should you should not be at a slot machine. going next she is the one percent of gamblers that didn't quit what? <laughs> my hero <laughs> uh, okay they're little people gone not children i forget sometimes you know you know that's just my prejudice Okay. All right. Well, there are the little people. Ah, just like the gold. I've prepared a gift for you, Dorothy. Check this out. Whoa! What a beautiful necklace. Is it made of cymothane? How did you know I love jewelry made of cymothane? It has the same purple hue as the necklace my dad gave my mom. I've never told anyone Ooh. about it. So... So... Well... Will you go out with me? Is it a yes? Is it a yes? I... I will. Oh, let's go! R really? Let's go! Really? Pay to win Riz, let's I go! I said yes before because I thought you had no idea what I liked. Wow, I, I, no, this actually, no, the, no, no, attention all along. <laughs> no, Try this is, this is bad vibes, bad, wait, she only said I yes know. because he bought her I something know. that she likes? No, this is a uh, red flag, bro, the alarm bells are ringing, man, the alarm bells are ringing, she a gold digger, man, she a gold digger for the streets, man, get out while you can. <laughs> Has actually come true. No, no, this is a monkey paw wish, man. Shall we go, Dorothy? Oh, we've lost Let's him. We've lost him. Enjoy the stunning views of the 12 hours. Yeah, let's go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> we've lost him. Hey, did you see that? The gray haired one outside. Don't look around, just focus on your drink. Seriously, they look like a total lunatic. Is that her? What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is blood doing? Is this what happens when I don't have control? Chirp, chirp. 
origami bird. Hey, little birdie. Come on. Oh, come down already. Everyone's staring at you. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is blood doing? No, it's <laughs> not the best time to do that. Sorry. I'll catch up with you later. <gasps> Tommy. Hey. Oh, show me the baby. Yeah, look, look, at, look at all the babies. Oh! Yeah. Lady Vermillion! <laughs> Who's this? It's, it's Firefly. Oh. 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 Um, go show me the baby. I can't get close. Cause, Why? Because I'm doing something. Over no, there. it's not the best time to do that. <laughs> Sorry. You recording? I'll catch up with you later. Okay. No, let me let me unlock the quest. I need to know what I've been doing. Will you upload the vod yeah, gun? Yeah, I'll, right. I'll upload the vod for two point three. It's been hiding at the moment of soul in Pinaconi, using a fake identity. And he even posed as a professor at Paperfold Academy. I've made a deal with the family. I'll leave the extradition-related paperwork to you. How'd I find him? Well, let's just say I had some help from an influential figure. <laughs> Don't ask 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of chasing this guy all over the cosmos. You know, never thought it'd end up like this. I'm gonna hang up for now, partner. I need to raise a glass to myself. Morgan hangs up the phone and drops of fuel seeped out of his deep metal constructed eye sockets. What? Uh. All of their wishes actually did come true. Yo, Firefly, this is scam. This is scam central, man. I'm just saying, this is like the start of every scam where they're like, Yo, what? You can win this game? They're all plants, Firefly. They're plants. Watch yourselves in front of you. So you're chest. back, Miss Samuel. Yeah. I found those people. And it seems their wishes did come true after visiting <laughs> the Bonajade Exchange. Doesn't make me less broke, though. But I'm not sure what you want me to see. They all seem to be living... fulfilled lives. Not so fast. This step was just to show you that the Bonajade Exchange is genuine. That I had the power to grant their wishes. And now, I'll tell you the price they paid. Oh? Del was from a wealthy family. He was head over heels for Dorothy and wanted to win her heart. So Gold he digger. made a deal with me. He put up his entire fortune in exchange for a gift that would impress Dorothy. Of course, of course. It was a piece of cake for me, thanks to my IPC connections. However, Dell will soon find himself evicted from the dreamscape because he can't afford his room. What? How much did you Bobby? take from him? Well, what? That depends on him. Bro, you Let's drained him. Necklace will keep the relationship from crumbling. Oh, no. Oh no. Whoa. All this for a necklace. Yo, she she dropping you the moment she realizes you poor man. Then there's Stacy, a lady with a gambling addiction. She wanted some serious luck, but she had nothing to offer. So I took something else instead. From the moment she stepped out of the Bonajade Exchange, every casino in the cosmos would remember her name. But her parents and siblings would sever ties with her. And it would be impossible for Stacy to make any real friends again. Honestly, kind of worth that. <laughs> My family can uh I'll, I'll be I'll be crying. I'll 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 be crying. <laughs> I'll be crying in my pile of uh, dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> mom, mom, dad, you know, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes you gotta just pick money, you know. <laughs> What's that fucking gif of like that guy crying with the, uh, with the dollar bills? <laughs> she will accrue a vast wealth due to her good luck. 
but she'll never be able to use it for the people who truly matter to her. Aww. As for Detective Walker, he spent two decades chasing down a wanted criminal for some heinous crime. But he never caught the guy. In his desperation, he came to me. She can't use it for her family, but you, you can use it on herself. <laughs> so you're telling me I can be sad and broke or sad and rich? All right. He offered his own memory system as collateral. In due time, his memories as a detective will be erased and he will completely forget his own identity and all the sacrifices he has made. Interesting, don't you think? I fulfill people's desires and grant them favors, and soon they come back to me with even greater desires. So this is Monkey Paul. When people see others' desires get fulfilled, they develop their own desires. It seems like an endless cycle, but it does have a goal. In the end, I will get what I desire from this whirlpool. And patience. And what do you desire? Happens to be one of my greatest <clears throat> strengths. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as AR two six seven one zero? She knows. A remnant of Glamoth's iron. Cap. She knows. She knows too much. Hmm. I'm not surprised. You are much calmer than I expected. Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? The higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. As for the price, those iron cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans. So there wasn't really a price to be paid. However, you are different. You're now a Stellaron hunter. <laughs> Who said smart, honestly? <laughs> Naturally, you want to continue your existence. Putting a failsafe in uh, human beings? Kind, kind of smart, honestly. The, the, the biggest thing you can't trust? Humans, guys. <laughs> Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. That's all I can say for now. I see. The morals, the, no you said the moral dilemma of making either. humans weapons and then making because a fail safe? Nah, nah. Meaning. Just, just, they're just weapons, innit? Just weapons. So, you're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Partners. A nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the Ten Stonehearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. I wonder what they are like. And if all Stellaron Hunters are like you, traveling on the path of finality, but struggling against your destiny, attempting to move in the opposite direction. I really hope that one day, all of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. How does she solve Can I see this the problems? How does she make your dreams come From true? Diamond money. To the Stellaron it all comes back to money, baby. The IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Stellaron Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. <coughs> active Lord Chat, Active Lord Chat. Who are the Ten Stonehearts? As for your offer, I can pass it along. Are they to like the, the um, like the top dogs? They're like, uh, all right, the the top dogs of the IPC. All right, that's what I assumed. You know who I am. Adventuring Topaz Jade. Oh yeah, they're all stones. My oh my God! 
If she wants oh my to, god, their name is Stones. The entirety of Pure Point know about it within a few mere seconds. <laughs> I was just I was just I was just pretending to have figured that out now. <laughs> I, I was just pretending to have figured that out now. That was a test to see if you were paying attention, chat. What drives you to take such a risk? And extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond? Even if it could lead to your downfall. Simply put. Uh, they're not stones, actually. They're the minerals. Please, come on, come on. Get it right. However, unlike you Stellaron hunters or the Astral Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. Each of us has our own past and destined ends. And on this journey, we have been invited by Diamond to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts that can only be filled from the outside. So, Diamond made us a promise to divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So, you understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere oath. It's our collateral in exchange for opportunities, wealth, survival, and a future. Damn, how many... How many more of these characters are we going to meet? Fortify the stone hearts in return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation. Yo, it's the, the foreshadowing, guys. Eventually comes. <laughs> I understand. Seven plus diamonds. All right. Take your time, child. Damn, you how long is the Star Rail story going to go on if there's like seven said, more of them left? Patience is one of my greatest strengths. If fate turns that page, our paths will cross again. It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penacony. <laughs> well, it ends with hope. Wait, she and Joe has five more Jake. generals? Holy shit. Bro! I've come to deliver the collateral spot. And then we're gonna go to another planet after this? God damn! Turns out the meeting to decide the future of Penacony went much smoother than expected. All the right. Charmony Festival's opening ceremony is starting What's blood soon. Blood been doing. This airship has quite a few treasures. A bountiful harvest. <laughs> Bro, we've just been having. <laughs> Everyone, every, everyone's been having fucking, uh, a sp everyone's been playing Spice and Wolf. We've been playing K on man. <laughs> Boot Hill, Boot Hill. Remember, I can take you out with just one shot whenever I choose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be my <clears throat> honor. And don't worry, I hate cheating at the table. <laughs> you better. Ah, look who's here. I hope we get to see more Boo Hill in the, the in, in, in the future, man. The most dazzling trailblazer in all of Penacony. Oh, you're here too. <laughs> Long time no see, friend. Hey, friend. What are you guys whispering around? Why are you on the IPC? Why are you on the IPC's side now, cowboy? This fella is also tracking down that son of a gun. What's that saying again? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's set aside those under the table. Oh, they're forking. For now, partner. <laughs> Don't want oh, they fudging. Oh, they fudging. <laughs> oh, I agree. Now let's congratulate Miss Trailblazer. I hear the family intends to thank the crew at the Charmony Festival. Well, my job was just to give the IPC an opening. Other things aside, I think I did a pretty good job at achieving this. Well, you were at Dreamflux. With Dr. Ratio? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. 
You're right. You have been able to dig up so You're much right. dirty information without the help of the But that emanator didn't pull any punches. <sighs> My body couldn't hold out too long. Otherwise, this would have been settled in a much cleaner manner. What were you guys chatting about? It. I'm not one to beat around the bush. <clears throat> I've got a score to settle with a high-ranking executive fella named Oswaldo Schneider. And this... Uh, the feud between the Marketing Development Department and the Strategic Investment Department is well known across the cosmos. But what I didn't expect was the involvement of the Galaxy Rangers in this feud. Looks like I forget, have we met any other Galaxy Rangers? Spicy. No, he's the, he's the only one, right? He's the only one we've met so far, right? right. No problem. And punishing the wicked and eradicating evil is a top priority. Would have been strange if we sat it <laughs> Acheron, out. yes. Yes, of course, Acheron, yes. Like that, us Galaxy Rangers are making a comeback. Tiernan? Reckon you'll meet oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. Thanks for thanks for reminding me. Do me a favor. That's how she found out that about Galaxy Rangers. Alright, well have fun guys. I also hope you enjoy yourself. Great. <laughs> I'll pass. But I do hope you guys have fun. If you don't mind, let's play a few rounds next time. Of course, the ultimate gambler. Adventuring. Adventuring Kakiguri. Oh, ratio! Yo, let's go! Let's go, I'm ready to be ratioed. Ah, yes. I remember you. Your performance at Herta's space station was... adequate, I suppose. <laughs> oh, we take those. Adequate? Adequate? We take those from the doctor himself. No wonder that gambler likes you so much. He called you mid? <laughs> Yo, we take those from Dr. Ratio, man. Can I get an autograph, please? Please. Don't try to emulate that gambler's penchant for attempting to be over the Penchant. Family. I'll let it go this time, but this won't happen again. Very well. The Charm Money Festival is about to commence. God, I feel poorer just but talking to him, man. I feel poorer just listening to his accent. The blend of work and play is essential for superior knowledge absorption. How do you rate adventuring? The executives of the IPC and the Guild say that we are strategic partners. Strategic Yet partners? From my perspective, I am invariably the teacher, and he, along with you and every other individual, is the student. Of course. From this perspective, <laughs> Bro ratio is everyone. Isn't what you call an ideal student. Yet, he's also not utterly obtuse. Oh. Alas, the void within him oh. can never be filled. Little Tsinsun? Am, am I sensing a little Tsinsun now? Uh, let's hope he doesn't turn into a philosophical zombie. I thought you were going to make me get my act together. Uh, saying such a thing merely indicates that you have not truly grasped the essence of learning. The principle of balancing work and relaxation is scientifically grounded. With the relevant proof process detailed on page 21. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Issue of of course, I knew that. Star Caesar. Oops. <laughs> then you'll excuse me. Alright, who else, who else is at the party? Who else are we going to see at the party? Optional chat with the guests. Okay, let's go say hello to our girl. Miss well, Mineral. if it isn't my old friend. It hasn't been long, and yet, here we are again. <laughs> hey, boy. I'm in the mood for a job change. <laughs> hmm? So direct. Aren't you afraid I might take you seriously? Um, are you offering me a job? Thinking about it, though, the lives of the nameless are so excessively exciting. I heard you guys pulled off a big stunt, cutting down the Oak family in one fell swoop. If one day you're tired and looking for a change in work environment, or you want a desk job, just contact me. Hey! <laughs> Look how bustling this job offer. is. Job offer! I count that as a job Not offer. Bad. Someday when I'm less tied up, I plan to host a grand party on my eco-ship. And you'll all be on the guest list. 
transform? <laughs> what are you saying? I missed the dialogue. Oh, I, I understand now. You're referring to Aventurine's cornerstone, right? <sighs> Sorry. Compared to him, my ability is not as visual. <sighs> Guess there is no harm telling you. The abilities of the Ten Stone Hearts' as cornerstones are all different. Some can even read your thoughts. Oh. Grasp your desires. Press L1 to see dialogue so history. I want to ask you a question when, about that transform. Oh, okay. So, uh, now that I think about it. <coughs> she can't transform because she's already perfect as she is, log. chat. If she came any later, we probably wouldn't have ended up as friends. Wait, they're friends now? They fr Oh! Okay. Yeah. Finally! Finally! Is that all? Hey there, lively lady. Welcome to the Bona Jade Exchange. Oh. What should I call you? My name is March 7th. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Let's just use this name. So, miss, March 7th, what do you wish for? And what are you willing to sacrifice for it? Stella Jades. Make the nuke bow down to me. I want to be the CEO of IPC. <laughs> let's, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I want to see be CEO, baby. CEO. <laughs> Later, Bona Jade doesn't even blink. You... You're guessing she doesn't have any sense of humor. Sounds simple enough. Very pragmatic. Then, let's discuss the cost. Oh shit! I'm listening. No way, this is the end game already? <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> be too worried. To fulfill this wish, the thing I need is simple. The tail of an animal. Oh, that's, that's, that's easy. That's well, easy. It's a two-legged animal, with black fur, a round head, and long ears. It's omnivorous and is prone to mood swings. Most importantly, it has mastered the human language and can communicate. Human. Bring its tail to me as collateral. Oh, pom pom? Will come true. Pom pom? Yo, pom pom. Pom pom can live without a tail. Pom pom. <laughs> pom pom can live without a tail. <laughs> Hopefully, there are scissors on the express. May fate <laughs> bring us together look, again. Look, look. Here's, nice here's the thing. Pom Pom, I'll give you some shares. You're, I'll give you some shares of the IPC. Look, you'll you'll be set for life, Pom Pom. You'll you'll be set for life. It's it's just it's look 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 Pom Pom. One minute of hurt, or one whole lifetime of riches. Think about it, Pom. Pom. Think think about it. Think about it. Pom Pom, dude, you'll be set for life, man. You'll be set for life. Services, do you require? Uh, which one am I going to? Okay. No, we have to go down. Whoops. Argenty. We meet again, my dear friends. Your journey of the beauty is even more elegant than mine. My most sincere regards to you. Sincere regards to you too, dear friend. Even after achieving such remarkable feats, you gain, re you remain humble and gentle. Such a, such a true mark of a knightly grace. <laughs> Why is he muted? <laughs> I have heard of your valiant deeds in leading others to vanquish the omens of evil. Through the tale bears a tinge of regret. Regret? <laughs> of regret. You have undoubtedly championed beauty and justice. May Idrilia, may Idrila, Idrila, I can never pronounce this man. <laughs> may Idrila smile down upon you. <laughs> Alright. Hope you have fun at the festival, dude. Alright. All right, have a good time. Idrila. All right, there we go. There we go. 
Bro, we chillin', man. The festival hasn't started. Let's take a quick break. Hi, we meet again. Who's that? It's really you. Oh. I knew it. Yo, didn't you fucking her. jump scared me, Firefly. Yes, it's just I didn't get the chance to say hello. There's still some time before the Charmony Festival starts. Do you Flustered. You walk and talk with Firefly, stopping in your tracks. Yo. Two murder cases. Yo, date number two. Date number two. The legacy of the nameless and a remnant of the order who wishes to replace an eon created paradise with a dream. You guys even ended up shattering the dream. <laughs> it's truly been quite a vacation. Make her pay for food round two. Let's go. Make Firefly even more broke. It's a good thing that you guys managed to overcome all those difficult problems. Congratulations. After the Charmony Festival's opening, will you guys be leaving again? I don't know where our next destination will be. <laughs> Could be there anywhere. will always be somewhere. After all, you guys are on the path of the Trailblaze. Before joining the Stellaron Hunters, Elio told me that this journey will tell me how to live on. That's all he said. As for the rest, it's up to me to find out. So, I'll pay extra attention to any leads that will let me live on. <laughs> this trip to Pentagoni is no different. Looks like you didn't get what you wanted this time. Yes. Initially, I thought the answer might lie with the riddle of the Watchmaker. I was looking in the wrong place, but I did reap some rewards. Oh, sorry for that, bro. Do you know Miss Jade from the IPC's Strategic Investment Department? Yep. She told me her price, but... Take the deal. Don't take the deal. Those IPC people have ulterior motives. No. But what she wanted wasn't my answer either. Of course, I want to live on. But... What fate owes me... I want it paid back, not passed on. No one else should be involved because this is a grudge between me and fate. Yo, fate? Fate got money? Fate? Yo, is fate, fate good for that, bro? Speaking of which, actually, I feel that I still owe you a formal apology for that matter with the performer of the Iris family. Even the smallest of lies can turn into a betrayal as sharp as a blade. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I've never felt hurt by this. No problem, you've already apologized. You shouldn't have lied to me in the beginning! How dare you! I'm still thinking about it to yes. this day! And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, <laughs> Fuck, what do I do? Why do I do this every time? Why do I do this every time? It's that girl! Get moving! Arrest that criminal before the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony starts! <laughs> I can't believe they've chased me this far. Looks like we have to say our goodbyes. Don't worry about me, just go and enjoy the ceremony. Still on... The script hasn't reached its end yet. We will meet again. Still on the run, eh, Firefly? Are you I a Tsundere okay. gun? <laughs> hey, man. But <laughs> if it's only those two hounds again, she'll probably Look, be uh, fine. Look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to follow the same path as uh, all of... as uh, Follow the same path as every character I like, all right? Every character I like. I'll send a message later to check in on her. Let's go attend the Charmony Festival first. All right, now, now we rest. Now Let's we sleep. Let's take a seat here. <sighs> Everything is settled. Yo, the kid just fucking but disappeared. There's still some time left. Did I miss anything? No, that's just <sighs> forget it. I've done enough walking around already. Let's take a seat and rest for a while. Oh, oh. It's me, Firefly. I've got it all handled. Of course you do. You have your own mech. Don't worry, I didn't do anything rash. I've hidden myself. It's a pity I won't be able to see Miss Robin perform. Yeah, sucks to you. Looks like I don't have to worry about her. 
Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Yo, we get we got we got tickets for the Taylor Swift concert, baby. We got tickets to the Eras tour. Hey, hey, Miss Robin. Hey, Miss hey, Robin. Robin. Over here, Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Who said? Who said that? Who said that? I heard that. <laughs> marry me. Ma marry me. <laughs> Distinguished guests, fellow family members, ladies, gentlemen, and friends from all over the cosmos. It's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penacony family's five major lineages. And on behalf of myself, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, the celebration is unprecedented in scale. With factions from across the cosmos. Finally, we get the we finally get to the festival. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penacony Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. Yes, yes. All right. What makes very good, very good, Robin. So uniquely significant, as is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream, sparking widespread discussion in the Twelve Hours. Thanks to the hard work of Penacony's internal and external factions, we've finally gotten the Dreamscape back on track, just in time for the Charmony Festival. And as they say, good things come in pairs. The Charmony Yes, Festival we'd like to thank our sponsors, the like today's sponsor, Honkai Star Rail and Hoyoverse of this stream. Thank you very much to our sponsors for making this, uh, for, for making this event happen. Right, guys? Right? Right? <laughs> and finally, the last reason. Does everyone remember the Watchmaker? In truth, the family has poured their efforts into this festival just to commemorate this legendary luminary, the father of Penacony, Mikhail Charred Legwork, one of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penacony. Whoa, uh, what, what, what? In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivities, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape, in exchange for what is now known as the Paradise of Harmony. It can be said that Penacony's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the Watchmaker planted Hell within yeah. us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a Woo! 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 Hell yeah, you 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 tell him, Robin. Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. We haven't even been mentioned it. Oh, Joel. <laughs> the express crew would have been disbanded long ago if it weren't for you, actually. <laughs> You're the real goat, Marge. You're the real goat. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, actually, every person. Why does that, that seem so ominous? <laughs> wow. Way, way to be humble, Marge. Way, way to be humble. Back on track. All thanks to the Trailblaze, of course. If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. Hey, yeah, that's us. 
Where it was all our doing, baby. From the five major lineages. Penaclonus family. <laughs> on behalf of all I heard that guy in the background. The cosmos, <laughs> offer a token of appreciation to the nameless. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's going to be a big one. We will transfer ownership of the Radiant Feldspar to the Astral Ex What? A meager appreciation. Whoa! Wait, what? What? Yo, look at <laughs> look at March, man. Even even she is just like, what? We we rich now? I ain't broke anymore. We got a free ship. What the fuck is this? One Piece? We got a, we got another ship now. Let us gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless nameless. <laughs> nameless, nameless, nameless. Hey. Hell yeah. And then they clapped. Guys, guys. And then everyone clapped. Everyone clapped, guys. And then everyone clapped. Guys, you're, you're not gonna believe this. So this chick... She gave me a free chip. And then everyone clapped. And now... I propose a toast. To Harmony. To the Trailblaze. To the future of Penacony. Oh yeah, wait, we're, we're in... We're in the yes. dreamscape now, the aren't we? We got an imaginary thing. chip. Mr. Osi Alfalfa. <laughs> <This, laughs> bro, bro, we got an in-game item. We we got a fucking in-game item. <laughs> NFT. <laughs> NFT acquired, baby. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Oh. <laughs> to make a decision like that, this little bird is no less capable than her brother. One, uh, one more, one more. Oh, oh. Right. But have you forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? Sparkle. You have ten minutes to find it. Sparkle, we were celebrating. When did this get shoved into my hands? God damn it. There's still so many bombs. Gosh darn it. Now's not the time for plot We just twists. we just acquired this ship, man. I can't man. handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we we have there's an imaginary neutron bomb on this imaginary ship. It's an NFT ship, guys. We can't just... Wait, can we just copy and paste the ship? <laughs> guys, let's just copy and paste the ship, guys. Just just copy and paste it. Right, right? We can do that, right? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. Okay. Okay. Wait, boot heels in here as well? What the fridge is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. And when the bomb Miss Sparkle place on the cruise ship is hiding upon 900. Nine hundred and ninety-nine dolls. Everyone, please don't make any commotion to cause unnecessary panic. Okay, thank you, Robin. Robin, girl boss. All right, let's. Well, someone, let's let's come out. Let's come up with a plan. Damn, we got the entire crew. Damn, everyone, everyone's getting involved. Everyone is here. <laughs> Every. Okay, don't. <laughs> Doctor Ratio, <laughs> Doctor Ratio, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Doctor Ratio is like too many people in group chat. Okay, whatever. Bomb on ship. All right, he leaves. All set. Let's start following the plan. <laughs> Classic Ratio. 
All right. Find the bomb on the world map. Uh, use the function button. What's the function button? Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's one... One at the front of the ship. Alright. Front of the ship is the first one. Alright. Oh, I didn't realize the front of the ship, but... Wait, did I just come from the front of the ship? Wait, I just came from the front of the ship, didn't I? Wait. Or was that the back of the ship? No. Okay. Missed another one. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! They look like this. You can call me the director, Donald. I often use this name in film credits. If you didn't know, I'm the one who directed the entire farce in Venezuela. All right, all right. Da 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 da. Uh, you have way too many story transitions. <laughs> right now, I just want to defuse the bomb and advance the plot. Oh, we're we're getting we're getting meta now, eh? We're getting meta now. Great, great. Thank you very much, Barkle. Oh, okay. You should hurry up and look for Dr. Edward. I'm Shash Box. Da, 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 da. Bows affectionately towards you, to you, blowing you a kiss before bounding away, vanishing into the depths of the cavern with joyless leaps. All right. Black Swan, there's been a progress with the bomb situation. I've got good news and bad news. Uh, Give me the bad news. Bad news first. Always bad news first. There is no good news. Shit. The bad news? You found 131 bombs? I found... <clears throat> I found one! How the hell did she find 131 by herself? The evacuation of the family is underway. Alright, alright. At least I made some progress. <laughs> Gotta keep working at it. <laughs> well... Black Swan found 131. Guys, we have found one. <laughs> we found one. All right. I hear, I hear it. Okay. Oh, okay, there you are. Which one's this one? Oh, there must be one. Okay. Enough of your tomfoolery, Sparkle. Enough talk. Let me defuse the bomb. How dare you? Alright, alright. Alright. Oh, we battling now? We battling? Oh, okay. 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 Stand still. Alright. Jesus Christ. Huh? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> to think I was defeated by the Alright, let's 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 get through that. Alright, that's not the one. 
New message. Daggum wubba boo, I give up. <laughs> What's wrong, Silver Cat? He found 217? Jesus. <laughs> and that's after I got help from the hounds. Oh, damn. Boot Hill. All right, we got, we got to pull our weight, man. We got to, we, we have got to pull our weight. Which one was that? Right, let's go outside. No. This is not the right place. Do I have to go downstairs? Alright. Ah, uh, wrong place. Oh, chest though. Chest! Chest! Is that all? Oh. Alright. Look, the bomb can wait. We got our priorities, man. <laughs> oh, wait. This is where I was just at. Whoops. What the fuck is this? What? What? What are you doing here? What? I'm here to defuse the bomb. How the fuck did you get here? Oh, is that another doll? Wait, wait, okay, okay. How the fuck does Spark would know about this? You are finding the optional dolls? Bro. <laughs> I found this by complete accident, man. Mimi. Mimi's. Alright, bye bye, Mimi. Bye bye. Alright, more messages. Who's that? Argenti, I bring some saddening news. The trial of beauty. He's found 145? What? Is this really not a trial of elation or something? No, no matter. Please be patient, everyone. I have a feeling that as long as our virtuous patient can persuade Idr Idrila with sincere conviction, even the most difficult problems can be resolved. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to... Uh, take the elevator to F1 poop deck. Poop deck? Maybe... There you are. There you are, Sparkle. All right, we found three bombs, guys. You're not good at character design, are you? This is called foreshadowing. All right, now that you found me, it's my turn to complete my mission. She's literally just the Joker, isn't she? What's the gang doing? What's the gang doing? IPC- Jesus! 329 dolls? Thought I'd drop you this update. Even you guys can't do anything about it? Holy forking shirt balls! This is gonna be a killer! Don't give up! We're so close to 999! The express crew is about to be done. Yeah, yeah, alright. We're pulling our weight. We're pulling our weight. Do I hear another one? 
<laughs> Bro is getting carried. <laughs> right side. Okay, okay. I thought I heard another one. Bro, we... We are doing this. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Sparkle. Alright, let's stare back at it. Let's stare back at it. <laughs> if you don't speak, then your silence equates to consent. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, all right, we we, we, can, we can we can go through that. All right, who's next? Good news! I fa even March is more useful than us. We found the remaining 172 dolls here, but they're just dolls. What's going on? That girlie pulling a fast one on us? Long time no see, everyone. Miss Sparkle is delighted that everyone is busy busying themselves over her, and so she had me deliver this message. I knew it. You've got to grow some brain cells, gray hair. Miss Sparkle is pleased. All right, right, enough jokes. Miss Sparkle says this message is super important, so listen up. There are actually 1,000 dolls to reward everyone's efforts. Miss Sparkle has decided to be magnanimous. But ba 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 This is the she roll. Slow down on your typing, girl. Slow down on your typing. All right. So we have to find another doll. Everyone, don't be misdirected by her appalling prank. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Not much time left. I hope I make it. Well, Sparkle can definitely type faster than me. <laughs> she can definitely type faster than me, man. All right. Is that a fire? Twenty-eight minutes, forty-six seconds. 28 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, you're here. How's the bombs? Sparkle, eat my bat. What? <laughs> you're also summoned here by the masked fool? Missed the, the best bomb. Ah, oh, rip. Wait, there were so more bombs out there? Doing. There were more bombs? I thought we were just meant to get a certain, a certain amount. Well, <laughs> she is. Oh well. Since you're here, I'll just keep it short. Just over half an hour ago, I received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as I could. 27 minutes, 52 seconds. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. The sweet there was a Rickroll bomb. Oh, damn. If were to blow up here, Brick, the Brick's account. Would Brick's be account. Unfathomable. I've scrutinized it for a long time, but the bomb's design is incredibly unique. As if it's been locked by some mysterious path force. Apart from its creator, I fear no one knows how to deactivate it. Then we'll just have to find that person. Mommy, I don't want to die. I don't- Mom. Mom, I don't want to die. Actually, there might be another way. Oh, fuck. I, I know where this is going. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death Bros. three times in the land of truth. She's gonna do a Batman! Is she gonna do a fucking Batman? No fucking way. No. <laughs> no, this is the Dark Knight Rises all over again, man. I think this moment heralds the third time. What's your plan? Well... You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter special method in order to enter dreams instead. Iron Giant? Oh yeah. Tony Stark. To perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the Memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. Nah, nah. The real, the real ones. The real ones. The real ones know that this is Pell. Uh, this is, uh, this is Alabaster Arc, actually. Uh, we have the Guardian of Alabaster right now. You know? I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape. As deep as possible, where there are no living souls around. That way, 
At least no one will get hurt. <laughs> what about you? This is... What about you? Can you really make it in time? This isn't a matter... Uh, alright, alright, alright. I'll, 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 I'll ask about you. Don't worry. I believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. You believe? And maybe even make it back safely. At present, this is our best and most logical course of action. After all, a long story deserves a happy oh, ending. Headphones? Alright, alright, alright. I'll trust you. to share with you though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron she said that the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen at the moment there are so many things that seem impossible but are they really never going to happen maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet whether it be a literal ending suffering akin to death or a harrowing deathscape. Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make Mary had choices. I also firmly believe that that when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. Aww. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny yo fucking bars firefly fucking bars pop off the astral express and the stellaron hunters are like light and shadow we walk on different paths intertwined moving forward and growing together maybe the end is predestined but it is not today Let's speed up the countdown. Yo, Human go! Life is short, just like fireflies to a flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember: don't leave with any regrets. We have this right. Oh. Bro, sparkle. Since you care so much about other people's safety, why don't you go take a closer look? Sparkle, you just killed our friend, man. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Everything is possible. Okay. Okay. We came here with our own goals and realized them <laughs> in unimaginable ways. Regardless if the result was a sweet illusion or a bitter reality. Oh. It was an answer we longed for day and night. So why do people Oh, this is such a Disney ending, man. <laughs> I think it's as you said. Because in the end we will wake up from our dreams. Oh. We belong. Oh. It was a prank this entire time. It re it it we it, she re it really was a just a prank, bro. It really just was a prank. When I arrived, I happened oh. to see a child oh, holding it. He said the flowers were prepared by Aunt Jessie for the watchmaker. Thank you, Sparkle, for being a menace. Mikhail would place two bunches of flowers here year after year. And after he left, it became three. Your wishes will always be remembered by someone. Now, Panacone, as you hoped, has welcomed the dawn after a long, dark night. The path forward may not be a bed of roses, 
But at least people are prepared to step forth towards freedom. Tiernan, you can go home. Aww. Well, the Nameless are also preparing for the next stop of their voyage. But before leaving, we still have one last thing to do. It is my honor. Oh. I've said many goodbyes. Yet, I am glad that this is the first time I speak these words with a smile. But before leaving, I'm sure you all have plenty to say to the Nameless of the past. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. One could not ask for a better farewell. Go on. They're all here. Oh, I don't want to say goodbye yet, man. Damn, it's kind of just hitting me, man. <laughs> it's kind of just hitting me that we're saying goodbye to Penacony, man. Damn. Felt like, uh... Felt like the ride was gonna last longer, man. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. Alright. Oh. Oh, it's, it's over? This arc is really over? Oh, man. Man, the other arcs didn't get this kind of goodbye, man. What the hell? What the hell? Jirilla was like, yo, peace. See you later, losers. <laughs> oh. The nameless. Those who trailblaze, doing good deeds but never seeking recognition. After all this time, how would we even find those three people in such a vast place like Penacony? But it seems, in the land of the dreams, Anything is indeed possible. History may not remember the names of the dead, but the stars will attest to their journeys. The first glimmer of light in the prolonged night often illuminates little, as it is fleeting in the darkness too vast. But because of this, people will remember. As long as something shines in the night sky, then when the first star falls, countless more will follow. Streaking across the horizon. A toast. Oh. Brooklyn Tiernan. Oh. Rosalina Jane Estella. Oh. We raise a toast to you, trailblazers of the Silver Rail. A toast to history that no longer remains silent. The passionate and courageous pursuit <laughs> and a voyage that traverses the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who's that guy who said Don Hung didn't do shit? Yo, why, why is Blood yapping? He did, Blood thinks he's part of the team. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> God fucking damn it, chat. I'll toast to that. Bro. We're, ha we're having a moment, man. That statue. It wasn't here last time. Looks like this is the last riddle that Mr. Gallagher left for us. In the end, we still failed to figure out his true identity, or if he was even a living person. Uh, what should I say? I mean, this guy is definitely a history fictionologist, all right. I'm suddenly reminded of the time at the theme park when he said he was only 13 years old. Could that have meant something too? Uh, either way, He's an enigmatic character for sure. Wow, Mar Marge be using Marge really be using all of her brain cells when she used when she said enigmatic. Enigmatic. <laughs> oh. At least our journey together in Penacony was real enough, and his loyalty and love for this land must have been real too, right? A toast. Gallagher, toast to that baby. Raise a toast to you, the slumbering hound. Oh yeah, he is thirteen. I remember that. To the festival's invitation, to all lies and the singular truth. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna, I'm gonna refill my, my drink. Toast. Ah. 
Cheers to that, baby. <sighs> if we ever meet again, please don't talk in riddles. That's just my message to everyone in this game. Can we can we just uh can we just stop talking to riddles? The Astro Express ready to depart, Penacony? Uh, apologies, Mr. Mika, that we are only now bidding you farewell. You, know, you just want a reason to pop a beer, don't you? No. No. Come pie, bitches. Oh, that's all right. You've all done so much for the Watchmaker, <clears throat> and we are forever. Oh, it is Alex Lee. Back again. Allow me, as the representative of Dreamflux Reef, to make another toast to all the names. Hey, let's let's go. Let's go. Cheers to that. What will the people of Dreamflux Reef do now? Many will continue to live here. Those accustomed to being awake will mostly have a hard time getting used to a life of darkness with their eyes closed. Though the order has faded, there must be someone to watch over this primal memory zone. <sighs> Penacone's nights are long, and there are many who are still far from a good night's sleep. As for the sweet dream over there, <laughs> we're still managing without it, aren't we? Oh my god, I hear it now. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't realize it until someone pointed it out, and I'm like, oh god, it is him. It is Alex. Hey, cheers. Ninja and residents of Dreamflux Reef, we raise a toast to you, watchers of the long dream. To your tenacity throughout time, to each sorrowful night, and to the dawn. That is finally upon us. Wait. <laughs> Were you also a nameless one? I've encountered many nameless, even comes from them, but no, I'm not one of them. Since my adolescence days. Uh, bu 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 bu. Oh damn! I didn't. I didn't think we. I didn't think we were gonna get his whole backstory. Through conversation with them, my mind gradually pieced together the entire cartography of the stars. Even if I'd never less left Astana since the day I was born, a great regrets. But I'm not depressed anymore. In contrast, from the crevices of regrets, I've seen. Fl uh, I've seen some flowers and other beautiful things grow. I found my own calling. Protect this dream and guide those who stumbled into it find themselves again. For the present me, even if I'm destined not to realize my ideals, I can still become the motivation to drive myself to live life earnestly and to move forward. Oh man. If we were to calculate using real time, I'm very old, man. I'm afraid my flesh is already gone. The image I portray... Before you now is probably no different from the Mika who first entered the dreamscape. Oh, damn, how old? He's 34. Shut, shut the fuck up, chat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> After meeting you all, I felt especially peaceful compared to the unfulfilled ideal of mine. Your revival is more akin to a promise that will eventually be realized. It's just as he said before, hopes and dreams will not vanish. They will just be lost momentarily. Bear with it. They will f surely find their way home. Activate clockwork. You try using clockwork to touch Mika's heart. But his emo dial doesn't appear before you. <laughs> Standing before you is a resolute individual. One that does not rely on others to guide his feeling. He has grown into a giga chad. Emo no more, even if everyone's lives were offered to, sh to this shattered dream, his spirit would remain intact, unwavering, even in the slightest. God damn! God damn! What a beautiful view, eh? What a beautiful view. 
In the end, we still came full circle. This trailblazing expedition started from the moment you and a bellboy ran into each other. After going on a journey of many twists and turns, they still ended up where they started. Just like a clock's hands that turn round and round, the start and end of each day will always land on 12 o'clock. The advent of time moving forward. There shouldn't be much left to say. This entire adventure started because of you, and should naturally end with you. And then, a new page will be turned. A toast. One final toast. Mikhail Char Legwork, we raise a toast to you. Watchmaker of the Land of the Dreams, nameless of the Astral Express. To Penicone's past, present, future, and the child's unwavering dream unto death. With that, our duty as nameless should that. be complete, right? The trailblaze can illuminate the way. But ultimately, the future of a world belongs to those who live in it. Uh, I still feel that Mr. McHale must have really wanted to witness this day himself. What's on your mind, March? Just a strange feeling. I had it a few stops ago, but it's super strong this time. Why not talk about it? Maybe everyone's thinking the same thing. Yeah, talk about these. Let's just talk about our feelings and shit. I can't help but think that whether it's Mr. McHale, Mr. Tiernan, or Madame Rosalina, their lives must have been long, and they must have experienced plenty of stories. They were also young once, stumbling and bumbling around just like us, getting into scraps and mischief, that sort of stuff. Companions, enemies, journeys, adventures, all the sad and happy memories. The every day that we're used to, they've lived through them too. Damn, damn, much. Damn, damn, much. you are... Uh... You, you've been thinking some deep shit, Marge. Damn! But those things are all in the past. Time will wash everything away. So treasure the present. One day our stories will also be part of the past. You're awfully sad. <laughs> Alright, I won't, I won't ruin the vibe. Um... Yeah. Maybe that's the precise thing I can't let go of. It'll be easier to understand if I use an analogy. Like, when you're reading a book, if one of its characters keeps running into obstacles and experiences an ending full of regrets, we're bound to feel a bit mixed about it, right? I could understand, but I'd feel mixed too, no matter what. That's very hard to accept. You won't be affected as long as you live, as you don't live vicariously through them. I don't know what Mar- I, I don't know what March is uh, talking about. <laughs> because we've seen every nook and cranny of their lives, we see these people as special. So, even if there are parts of it that aren't really realistic, nor logical, we still hope that their story gets a good ending when it comes. But, what if they... and we... aren't really that special? When Mr. McHale sat in this chair, Waiting for the Astral Express to arrive every day. What was he thinking? And if, at the end of his life, he could still firmly say he had no regrets... Then, what is this regret we feel in our hearts right now? Hmm. I think each and every Self, one of us is searching for the queens. answer to this very question. <clears throat> she's getting, she's getting self-aware. The universe is vast, 
and our lives are but specks. The trailblaze never ends, but against the backdrop of the cosmos, the average person's lifelong journey is merely a short stretch. But it is in this minuscule distance that paths cross and countless worlds connect. The universe may not remember every person who leaves a tie along the Silver Whale, but we will. As long as we remember, their stories will never end. And what Mr. McHale has left for us is his answer to this very question. It may not be perfect, but it left a smile on this storied, jaded old nameless's face at the end of his life, and its meaning will be interpreted by those who come after... us. It's not the answer that's important, but what we can learn from others' answers, right? This is what trailblazing is. Sure. Uh, smile and nod. Must be like sure. What? Smile and nod. Tell us a dad joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Must be like where's where's Pi where's Pymon? Where, where's where's Pymon when I need him? <laughs> it's never a bad thing to reflect. One day, we'll all have to face our own farewells. <laughs> but before that, we still have a long way ahead of us together. So the most important thing right now is to tell the conductor what we saw in Penacony. Then prepare ourselves for our next trailblazing destination. On to the next... I should get back to the express. Or maybe I could say my final goodbye to Acheron. Let's do that. Let's do that. Is that all? Where'd she go? Do you still remember when we first arrived in Penacony? Who would have thought our paths would cross in such a way? Will we meet again? The ocean of stars is vast. And given our destinations, I'm afraid our paths may not cross again. Oh, no, no. But the trailblazing we'll meet again. expedition ahead is always full of unknowns. We'll meet again. My blade is sharp enough to sever fate. As long as we maintain our original resolve, I believe there will come a day where we will meet again. Hell yeah! Yo, why are you, uh... Who... Whomst are come you? to think of it, I didn't even get a chance to formally introduce myself. Simply put, I'm a self-annihilator who was cursed by the Nihility. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago, and the whole world was erased beneath their shadow. In order to fight against the cruel end of self-destruction, I went on a journey in search of a way to <clears throat> sever the chains of the Nihility. After a long and grueling search, I am convinced that my destination lies within the depths of the Dark Web, where reality and the Nihility are separate. In there lurks a secret called Device Nine. One day, Ooh. I'll reach it. Device 9. Have we ever met uh, before? In that case, I must apologize for my rudeness. <clears throat> Do you remember when we first met? I once said you reminded me of an acquaintance. Because of the self-annihilator's curse, my memories are stripped away, blurring my past. And after our journey Pick together, one. All what right. I originally thought were Got it. familiar I'll pick two. feelings were merely illusions. I believe this was truly our first meeting. What if that wasn't a, an illusion? With this as our first meeting, we can consider our next meeting to be a reunion. See, guys? See, guys, I didn't play Honkai Impact 3rd. I, I didn't play Honkai Impact 3rd. All right, let's, let's what see. What do you mean? <laughs> It's improbable that you've crossed paths with my past self. 
What I mean is, there is nothing left to retrace yeah. there. Only nihility. I think I might have seen someone like you. I see. You've also had a similar experience? Then you should know that this me and your memory of me are not the same person. Do you hear that? Chat! Chat! Did you hear that? Did you hear that, chat? Did you hear that? Different people, different people, different people, chat, different people. All right, but some things will never change. <laughs> Long ago, I too was like you, with irreplaceable companions. We also embarked on journeys, making the best choices we could whenever we could. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve the outcome we wanted. But moments like this make me feel like they never even left. In this universe, there exist countless worlds that are similar yet different. Oh god. Oh and countless no. people who are alike oh yet no. distinct. Oh. She's explaining the she's explaining the multiverse. <laughs> I too have one. She's explained the Hoyaverse. Encountering acquaintances on strange worlds. Seeing their silhouettes overlap with my past. In your opinion, what does this deja vu mean? Perhaps some sort of sentimental attachment? The wish to return to the past? A longing for a certain sum. Attachment. Desire. Longing. They may all be right, but they are all incomplete. I believe it's not something external, but something that originates within us. An emotion that traverses time from a certain moment of our past to reach us. Perhaps it's a source of warmth and happiness. Or maybe it brings pain and sorrow. Each time we reminisce on our past, we always seem to notice a tiny but unforgettable instant that we left behind us. Along with certain other things that remain constant throughout. That is a summary of our lives. Encapsulating everything about us in these moments. Proof of our shared path. Within them, we glimpse our own essence. And thus, we truly exist. Just like everyone in this story. Hurtling onwards along the path of destiny with passion and courage for the things that breathe meaning into their lives. Set forth on your voyage without hesitation, Nameless. On the path of the trailblaze. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. Aww. But before that, on the road towards the end, there are still many things that we can do. Free run, baby. And because of this, <clears throat> The end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. This is the meaning of journey. All those things, beautiful before, are still so now. And I believe it will still bloom at the end of the nihility. Until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. Thumbnail material, let's go. <laughs> oh, well, we just, uh, the smile was worth it. <laughs> All right, guys. It is time. Oh, pom pom. Pom pom. Yeah, me too, man. Me too, man. Me too, man. Me too. Pom pom. We gotta Cheer leave. Up, pom -pom. We gotta leave, Pom Pom. Oh, Alright, where's your tail? Where's your tail? Wow. Your method of consolation is truly unsophisticated. Still better than just standing there like a <coughs> scarecrow. What happened? Oh, hey, you're finally back. We 
told Pom Pom all about our adventure, and they suddenly started crying. I've never seen Pom Pom so sad before. <laughs> the conductor never cries. Pom Pom is never sad. Pom Pom is sad. Just, just angry. Yeah. Angry. Wow. Wow. Pom Pom, you you good? You good? No matter where the express stops, you lot always manage to cause chaos. Bro got mood swings, man. Bro got mood swings. Completely ignored. If you carry on like this, the express is gonna run out of fuel. That's right. Pom Pom is just angry. It's not because of Misha, Tiernan, Rosalina, and the rest. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, Pom Pom, just let it all out. Everyone, could you all take a break in the next car? Don't worry. I'll stay here with Pom Pom. But... Let's go, March. Aw. Alright. Alright. Guys. Is this it? Expected Pom Pom would be so distraught. Those three nameless must have meant a lot to Pom Pom. Aww. No one knows exactly when Pom Pom boarded Aww. the express, but one can surmise that their journey has been filled with many hellos. He's been and here the entire goodbyes. time. Probably more than we can imagine. The fact that they're crying so hard is probably a good sign. It proves that Pom Pom's emotions haven't become dulled by the grind of time. They still deeply cherish every nameless who has boarded the express and value every journey shared with oh, them. Oh, Pom Pom was the real one the entire time. Leave it to Himiko. When it comes to comforting, there's no one better on the express. <laughs> well, they were a little emotional at the time, but I'm afraid that's not out of the question. Well, can we uh, stop by a gas Since station then? Us, the express has stayed longer than anticipated at every stop along the way. And to ensure that everyone always makes it back on board, Pom Pom has had no choice but to delay the warp jump schedule. I see. <laughs> no wonder I can regularly hear Pom Pom pacing anxiously up and down the corridor. Turns out... Pom Pom's been silently putting in a lot of work for us. Different from typical vehicles, the Astral Express converts every trailblaze into the energy it needs to run. That makes Ideally, no sense, as Walt. long as trailblazing expeditions continue without interruption, the Express will receive a constant flow of energy. Much like a oh, perpetual motion. What, what is this? What is this energy? What, what, the, how, what is this energy reserve in this universe, man? <laughs> Yo, we're on the trailblaze, baby. But <laughs> that'd be our fuel. Encounters, fuel is being used up much faster than expected. The power of friendship we can energy. Probably only pull off two more warp jumps at most. <laughs> only two more? Isn't that super risky? Well, guys, uh, two more jumps until the end of Honkai Star Rail. At least you'll be an adorable well, ice cube. When you put it like that, it doesn't actually sound too bad. What the fuck? But <laughs> I don't even want to become an adorable ice cube floating around in space again. Which also means that we must prudently consider our next destination. Yes, uh, I've already checked the astral <laughs> charts. The two nearest worlds to us are the oceanic planet of Lushaka and the agate world Melustanen. Let's go! As for which one we're headed to, that still requires... Wait, I've, I've, we, I've seen this before. Or perhaps you might consider a suggestion. <gasps> oh! Oh! Everyone, oh. we need... Is she joining? Is she joining? It's you! Why were you just in my room? <laughs> It's a very cute room, Miss March. Just like you. What are you doing here? Memo Keeper, let's put aside how you managed to sneak past everyone and board the Express for now. You mentioned a suggestion. I accidentally overheard how the Express obtains fuel. 
I just wanted to chat with everyone to see if we could work together. But now, it appears my suggestion could be the very lifeline that saves everyone. Oh? Please speak candidly. Depending on what you say, we could very well ask you to disembark. Ah, the Permanence's descendant. What a charming little dragon. Especially with those mired memories of yours. But All right, where I are we jumping to? Where are we jumping to? If the Astral Express is in urgent need of a special trailblazing expedition to recharge its engine, have you all considered this? Perhaps your destination could be a world that even the renowned Aki Vili never reached. Should you be able to lay down a new stretch of silver? To that. Yo, we're the going to to that, baby. To worry about energy. The Hoyoverse. The Hoyoverse continues. Trailblazing to a world that even Aki Vili has never been to? Is that possible? Continue, Memo Keeper. This destination of which you speak. What sort of world is it? Yeah, come on, come on, just tell me, just tell me. Give me, give me a sneak peek. A world that many across the universe don't even know exists. A world hidden away from outside observation. Its presence only revealed by the light. It's from not Ohio, chat. Recollection. Everyone knows Ohio exists, chat. It is not Ohio. A world fettered by three paths. Its destiny hanging in the balance. The eternal land. Amphorius. Oh. Oh, do we get a sneak peek? Please. Oh. I hope I'm not too late, child. <laughs> oh. I wasn't expecting oh, it to be. Oh, Sunday. Here. Sunday. Don't you know how many sentry posts the family has built? And how hard it is to get you out of here? <laughs> what do you mean? What time? Negotiation, interrogation, or death. My fate lies entirely in your hands, Lady Bonajade. The dance is done. Why bother with the compassionate pretense and give someone who's about to die the chance to talk? Despite your fall from grace, you still look well. I'm very glad to see that you're so full of verve. Do not insult my pride with half-veiled sarcasm. Well, oh, guys, looks Have like a uh, Sunday. Come to see me. <laughs> looks Just like Sunday has found vanity. himself in a cage, guys, unable to fly away. Oh, the irony, guys! Oh, the irony! Oh, of course not. I merely came to fulfill your younger sister's wishes. To offer you a generous trade. That is, if you're willing to accept. Robin? How the turntables. To build a true haven where everyone can attain peace. That's the oath between you siblings, isn't it? If I told you there was still a chance to realize this vow, would you be willing to talk to me then? <laughs> I recognize the gravity of this question, which is why you don't have to answer me right now. Go now. You are free, O oh Chosen One, who dare to exceed his bounds. Sever your wings, descend to the mortal realm, and walk their lands. Yep. See what this world is truly yep. like. No more flying for you, Sunday. I will not accept your charity. As I mentioned earlier, it's a trade. And you don't have to give me an answer right now. Rewards are not reaped in a day. And if there's one thing I'm best at, it's waiting. The sweet dream still continues, and the night is still long. You have plenty of time to contemplate your answer. Ah, a word of advice for you before we part ways. A word of warning from someone who's been in your shoes before. Life is too short to miss out on golden opportunities. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. <sighs> and that was it. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the upcoming installments. Boot Hill has become a visitor of the Azure Express. Let's go. Let's go.
Okay, Robin. Robin, okay. 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 Sparkle, okay. Okay, but Boot Hill! Boot Hill! <laughs> Damn, we got the entire- we got the entire gang! Okay, we got- we got everybody. We got everybody. All right. All right. That was a very clean ending to Penacony. That, that was that was that was a clean ending to Penicody. I, I like that a lot. I even like that uh read the message. What's the message say? Damn, I got a lot of messages. Is everyone here? I have something important to announce. We're getting wages? <laughs> We're getting paid now? Sadly no. <laughs> Shit. The budget for the nameless expenditure will be managed solely by the navigator for the time being. If there are any individual needs of uh, cost patches, come... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, I can't scroll up. I can't scroll up. <laughs> Bro, we got 5% of Penacody and they, we still don't get... We still don't get wages? Oh, can everyone stop typing so fast? Alright, let me see this. Alright. Budget for the nameless expenditure will be still be managed solely by the navigator for the time being. If there is a need among individual passengers, however, you can come to apply for additional allowance from me. Speaking of which, why doesn't Mr. Yang ever seem to worry about money? Mr. Yang is in session. Be a fuck it out. Okay, he's loaded. He's loaded. He's loaded. <clears throat> to business. The thing I wanted to tell everyone is that the Astro Express will soon become one of the shareholders of the Penacony conglomerate. The family and the IPC will begin formal negotiations soon regarding the Dreamscapes reconstruction plans and commercial projects for the future. Yo, after this round of investment, the IPC will hold 30% of Penacony shares and the strategic investment department managed to secure a significant boon for us. Where the financing is done, the IPC will transfer 5% of its stock to the Astral Express to express uh, their sincere sincerity in developing a long-term partnership with the Nameless. Whoa! Though I, know, I don't know anything about shares. Well, I'm good. We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be fucking rich, baby! Oh my, have you been living in poverty this- What? Did she just call us- <laughs> Did she just call us poor? As the- s What? As the ceaselessly trailblazing nameless, we got another responsibility to shoulder regarding this agreement. As shareholders of the Penacony conglomerates, we must bear the duty of being brand ambassadors and ensure the planet of festivities will no longer depart from the proper path of harmony. Yo, they're brand ambassadors now. Yo, they become they become ad sponsors. Penacony, your girl boss is here. I love Penacony. Guys, have you heard about my favorite place in the world, Penacony? Yes. <laughs> this uh this stream is sponsored by Penacony. <laughs> Alright. The fuck is this? Uh, this, is, this is all this is all, all other stuff. Oh right. Well, guys, I I'm going to end it there for today. Thank you very much to Hoyaverse for sponsoring today's stream. If you want to check out the Honkai Star Rail 2.3 updates yourself, you can click that link in the pinned chat. Well, you want me to look at the dolls message? Cool, this makes you feel so cool, don't you think? More bombs? More bombs? Well, there'll be only a thousand bombs. Jesus, come on, come on, Sparkle. Come on, you, you, need, to, you need to stop. You need to stop with the prank, Sparkle. Do you remember the three proposed death? What's that got to do with you? Who knows? All I can say is that someone paid a hefty fund to hire 
Miss Sparkle as a, the director of Penacony. Seems like it's a friend she made while gaming. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Silver Wolf was the orchestrator this entire time? Silver Wolf was the orchestrator of this thing this entire time? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Thanks, Silver Wolf. Huh. Well, congratulations. You're the one who reshapes the third death. She shot into, up into the sky, set off the most epic fireworks Penicone had ever seen, giving a grand finale to this beautiful dream, and she herself was safe and sound. Happiest ending ever. So congrats, Grey Hair. After all, you're the one who actually made... Uh, buh, 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 buh. You're the one who actually saved the Firefly Girl, and that means Miss Sparkle will get paid as promised. Oh, by the way, the cele celebrate the grand finale. Miss Sparkle has decided to share another secret with you. Oh, oh, more tea? More tea? Hold up, hold up. You know what? Actually, no. Dr. Primitive is a huge fan of bananas. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, uh, are we, what does, uh, wait, what is, what kind, what kind of bananas are we talking? What? 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 You can't, you can't fucking end it there. <laughs> Banana law? Banana law? <sighs> All right. But that was the end of 2.3. So we are going to end it there for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining the stream. I won't be streaming tomorrow, guys. I, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, I know, I know the streak has ended, but I will be streaming more next week, guys. Ooh, Michi's online. I will be streaming more next week. So I shall see you gamers uh, after Sunday, I guess. After Sunday. So hope you had a good stream, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Gonna shut off the stream now. Definitely gonna shut off the stream. Bye. Why are you still here? Go away. I've raided. Stream is gone. What are you waiting for? What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs>